Hey folks, it's Ray at DCRamRecord.com here, and today I've got a quick tip on a brand new announced feature, which is the ability to pause training status on your newer Garmin devices. So newer meaning a Phoenix 6 series, or 4Runner 945, or 245, or an Edge 530, 830, 1030, 1030 plus, that sort of class. Uh, and in this case, training status means a whole bunch of different things. Primarily, the messages that it gives you around training status for things like productive, or maintaining, or unproductive, or any sort of change that occurs after a workout primarily. Uh, so those feedback phrases, as Garmin calls them, those things are all part of this bubble of stuff that you can pause uh, when you want to. So why would you want to pause it? Well, one, like if you get sick or injured, those are cases where you don't need your Garmin watch reminding you that you're not doing what you should be doing, or at least what it thinks you should be doing. Uh, it also turns off the daily suggested workouts for the Edge 1030 Plus series. Uh, so if you got those, it'll turn off those workouts so it's not reminding you to do a base workout for two hours or whatever the case is when you want to pause that kind of stuff. It's also useful simply when you get to the end of a season. For example, if you've completed your season, we have seasons? I don't know, just all feels like one never any year. But if we do have seasons, you can go ahead and turn it off after that uh, so you can have some recovery time or just vacation. It's also useful during pregnancy to be able to go ahead and pause those messages, especially later in pregnancy when it becomes virtually impossible to kind of maintain that same level um, of training load over time. Uh, training load also includes training focus as well, so the different kind of buckets of training, that all gets paused. And it's super easy to do uh, as long as you've got your watch on a relatively recent firmware version. In fact, on the smartphone app, if you're not on the most current version, it won't even show the option at all and it won't show it on the watch as well. Okay, so enough talk. I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's super quick and easy. Uh, on the watches, you go down to the training status widget. So you go down there. If you've gotten rid of the widget for some reason, you can just do it in your phone or on the website, um, or you can add the widget, your choice. Go ahead and hit that enter there and then hold this left hand middle button like this and you'll see a new option for training status options. And then you'll see pause training status right there. Tap that and then go down once, hit pause again, Oops, sorry, down again, there we go. And now it shows pause. And with that, it'll also show, or it won't show in fact, the training load different kind of stuff that you saw before. So if you compare those two side by side, you don't get maintaining anymore. You don't get, you know, whether or not the train is going up and down. It just simply shows your total load there. You can go down, you can still see your VO2 max. You can still see your seven day load, your recovery time, heat acclimation, elevation acclimation, but the all the detailed stuff and whether or not you're like going up or down, that kind of goes away. If you want to turn back on again, middle button on the left, training status, resume, and you can see now maintaining, and now those load options there are shown as well. When I go down below here, you'll see that, uh, you know, I have a low aerobic shortage, for example, uh, that's back on there. On an Edge Series device, go ahead and you'll tap either My Stats or the hamburger menu at the bottom left, that's what it's called, by the way, um, depending on which unit you're on, My Stats, and then you want to either tap this whole middle section there, or if in the Edge 530, you have to press to get into it, uh, where it says maintaining, Again, lower right hand option, and you can choose pause training status. It'll hide that. And if you go back here now, you'll see it just shows pause there instead. And then the same thing to enable it. Uh, there we go, like that. And we're done. On the phone, cracking that open here. Okay, making sure you can see that there. So on iOS, it's more down the lower right hand corner. On Android, it's up at the top of the hamburger menu there. Click more, uh, and then you'll see performance stats, training status, and then wait for a couple seconds, and up in the top right, pause training status. Yes, do you want to pause it? And you hit pause. Uh, and at this point, it'll actually tell you if you have other devices that are not on the right firmware version or not compatible, it'll tell you it won't update those ones, the training status on those. So that's fine, click OK, and then you see pause right there and you can tap resume. You can also do it on Garmin Connect to Web. You go on the left-hand side of reports, and then you go to training status, and on the right-hand side, uh, the little settings wheel icon, you'll see pause training status. There you go, a quick tip. It's quick a quick tip as I can get. It shows me at a, a number more minutes than I wanted to. So, sorry, I, I try to fit in there. Okay, a couple quick tips if you're troubleshooting this and it's not quite showing up. Uh, number one, keep in mind it just rolled out like 44 minutes ago, so it may be taking a little bit of time to replicate out there. Uh, but two, ensure that you got your app on the latest version. Uh, so check that with the App Store. Ensure that your firmware on your devices on the latest version. Uh, that'll at least get you on the right platform to get things started. And then two, try closing out the app and reopening it. Uh, the way this works, and it's super fascinating, is that this feature has been living on your watch or your device for a while now, but it's not enabled until Garmin Connect tells it to be enabled. And it does that via sync. And so you gotta make sure that 
Garmin Connect knows from the servers that this feature is now enabled based on this date and time. And then from there, it's told your device to enable that. So keep that all in mind that, you know, you gotta like, it's a bit of a sync process. If you were to fast forward like five hours from now, it'll probably just work completely seamlessly. Uh, but like in this first hour, two or three, or maybe even five hours from now, it'll be maybe a bit kind of in flux. Uh, but the idea is that this all just happens transparently kind of behind behind the scenes. Anyways, if you found this interesting, simply whack that like button at the bottom there or the subscribe button for plenty more sports technology goodness. Like this watch. Maybe we'll talk about this watch next time. Uh, I've got a post on it, but not a, not a full video. The full review video is coming up here in a couple days alongside the full uh, in-depth review on the site as well. Have a good one.